Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today I want to talk about Knight's College. This is a solely male harem adventure with anthropomorphic creatures available for PC on Steam. Knight's College is about a knight aspirant's freshman year at Frontail Knight's College. This takes place in a fantastical world full of pigs, dragons, dogs, panthers, lions, and tigers and bears. Each day is broken up into four segments, lecture, training, free time, and bath time, but there are occasional plot and story elements that will sometimes lock your decisions. This is an interesting take on the dating sim format. While there is the standard affection meter with each of the dateable gentlemen, the game's interface uses a card system for choices and interactions. As you play the game, you are able to unlock a total of 70 cards that allow for new decisions, actions, and locations. Each chapter is replayable and has a completion percentage, letting you know if you missed out on any of the possible hearts or cards. Graphically, Knight's College has great hand-drawn art. The sexual interactions are animated, but some of the loops can be choppy at times and are silent. The game's soundtrack is a more regal style of classical that fits well with the chivalrous fantasy setting. Flavor-wise, this is a male homosexual harem experience with college, furry, monster boys, power exchange, and fantasy. You have the option to completely disable all sexual interactions in the options without impacting the main story. There is also an optional patch to the base Steam game, which is available on their main site. As always, all of the links I mention are free to access on my Patreon page, because YouTube has a tendency of suspending me for linking the Steam. I am kind of limited in what I'm allowed to show in this review. The developer, Odoru, requests that only content through the first three chapters be shown in streaming, so I'm going to assume that applies to video reviews as well. I really enjoyed the story, and the world building is pretty well thought out and comprehensive. It sets up nicely for the planned sequel that is scheduled for release in 2022. I do wish that all of the romanceable characters were given similar attention in the epilogues. It can kind of be a letdown depending on who you think is best girl. Overall, Knight's College is well polished, the story is engaging and lighthearted, and it sets up really well for the sequel. I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys these flavors. Let me know what you think of Knight's College. Are you interested in seeing me review other games like this? Which ones? And as always, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.